What's up guys? So I'm in the kitchen. Don't freak out. We're going to be doing this in the kitchen because this is where I have a massive window and it's letting in a lot of light so you'll be able to see me well and understand what I'm saying. So ignore the kettles, the everything, the kitchen napkins, the plates and the pots and just pay attention to my eyebrows. Okay? Thank you. So guys, we're going to start with our brow pencil. The brow pencil I'm going to be using is very cheap. Endeavor you sharpen your brow pencil to be very sharp like injection. Yes. Then, make sure you comb your eyebrow hairs and your groom it before you start to draw your brows. If you haven't sharpened your brows, you don't know how to go to a salon or a professional to sharpen it for you. And you're just going to comb in the brow hairs till they are aligned properly so you make sure you brush upward like i was doing and after brushing upward you're going to use your spoolie to just lie the tip down guys don't laugh at this eyebrow but i want to illustrate something to you so supposing these are somebody's eyebrow I've sketched it out on each of these eyebrows i'm going to illustrate the two methods i'm talking about here we are going to do the fill in method and here the sketch method so the fill in method basically imagine these are your brows you put your brow pencil which is my bio on this hair and you begin to join the lowest hair at the bottom the roots they are going from you see this is the roots they are going from you begin to use short lines to connect up to two to three hairs together like that each pore that or hole the hair is going from you connect it make sure your pencil is sharp before doing this you do the same for the top don't go above the hair don't go below you connect them with little strokes you just use little strokes to connect oh i made a mistake there you just use little stroke to connect when you are done you start from half of the brows and you are going to just use tiny stroke to darken it like this just use darken it lightly you don't want to overdo it if you overdo it it will look very thick you just like to you have a darker version and make sure the borders are quite thick Ugh, i'm just making a mistake but for the front we are going to use this kind of stroke because the hair in front go upward but sometimes when you are doing it, it won't come, you can take it this way too. You take it upward and you take it this way too. So it will not give this kind of effect. If you understand. And that way it's going to be more natural. If you go this way, it won't be natural. For the second method, which is the sketch, sketch method. This is the second method I used to teach people that are unable to grab this when I'm teaching my makeup tutorial because I also teach I also teach makeup tutorial makeup artists so I teach it for the sum of 15k and when I encounter um, people to teach like this I have I I, I with, I've been doing this for two years now and these are the two methods. And they are really really good they catch up anybody that can't get this method always gets this method and this one is simple it's basically just coloring all your eyebrows just color it like this just color everything and make it dark you know when we're little to the sense of this thing is let's say there's a duck and they'll be like color the duck orange the way you color everything inside the dock without coming out of the dock that's the same way you are going to color everything don't be scared 
just color it your concealer is going to correct all the mistakes but when you get to the front here just use the, your light hand to take it up and take it like this because if the front is thick it will look very thick So guys, I'm going to start and I'm showing you, place your elbow on a solid surface so that you can um, have enough support to start filling in your brows. It's essential to have enough support. So I'm just starting with the fill-in method that I showed you on the book. So I'm connecting all the lower hairs on the lower portion of my brows. And like I said, I'm doing it gradually, connecting two or three pores together. Then I do the same on the upper part of my brows. I'm just connecting each of the hairs, just the way I showed you on the paper. So I'm just showing you graphically. Each time, make sure your pencil is really sharp. If you are using a blunt pencil, you are not just going to get it. So, be sharpening your pencil intermittently. So, that's the little front I'm trying to check that I told you about that shouldn't be um, filled in upward because the hairs in the front of the brows go upward. But the tail and every other part I'm filling in, they grow backwards in a line motion like that. So, that's why I'm having that backward sweeping motion but when i come to the front it's going to be something somewhat different so at the front of the brows we're going to be taking upward strokes remember we did it on the paper so we're going to be going with upward strokes and it will still be sparse like you can see then i'll take it backward and take it upward take it backward till it's completely filled and you're not seeing that awkward hole or any sparse areas it looks like i'm doing the most but seriously that's the in-depth part of it that people do so we're going to do the next eyes and to do the next eyes i'm using the second method darken all your eyebrows yes that's basically it <laughs> I invented this one just darken it don't be scared don't make it fatter than the size and don't make it smaller than the size just darken on your brows just create a darker version so guys this is the second method which is the sketch method right that about the dog that I illustrated on paper so make sure again your brow is sharp always and you're just going to fill in the shape of your brows without creating a fatter version just feel it to become dark right now the camera it looks like the sketch method is darker than the other method but they are going to all come together simple make sure it's it's perfect that's what i'm saying next you pick an angled brush angle brush mm -hmm. And you pick concealer. People use concealer, but I'm using this foundation. I love this foundation very much. It dries very fast and it does not move. Use whatever you have. You don't have to use what I have. Use the concealer you have. Use the foundation. But don't use foundation. Use concealer. This works wonders. That's why I love to use it. And when you want to conceal your eyebrows, you go with a shade of concealer that is your skin tone up if you're a beginner and a lighter shade of concealer that is lighter than your skin tone not too light like medium light mediumly there's an english like that so you understand mediumly lighter than your skin tone so i'm going with super stay full coverage Maybelline foundation in Toffee Cam Caramel Color 330 And I'm also using a foundation for the top of my brows Don't mind me, my foundation mess Don't listen to me, use concealer Okay So I'm taking mm. You want to coat your brush Long Short 
long the longer part will always point towards your nose if you are like this or if you are like this so i'm going to illustrate how to put the concealer on the piece of paper then we come back and do it here so now when you want to apply concealer you know when we're drawing the brows we moved towards the we moved towards the roots to apply concealer you move underneath those roots and sweep your brush underneath everywhere you see my pen going underneath oh like this the same thing on top make sure the two concealers we'll meet at this back. so don't do like this and be concealing your brows you have to raise it up so you see what you are working with and you can drag the skin you don't even hesitate to do like this raise those eyebrows high Don't change. Always use the longer part pointing to your nose and move slowly. Always extend it out to reach the middle of your nose, the center of your nose. This will help to make sure the both eyebrows. It will really help you. You will see why then blend downwards this foundation dries very fast and that's how concealer works too pull on your skin raise your eyebrows up it's really going to help you well. so for the other side you need lots of concealer not a bit pull you may put it at the center don't clean what you've done, just take your time. Blend down. I like to use a lighter shade on the top, but I use a darker sh this shade of my skin for this video. Good. The sh longer part always points to your nose, not this way. This way. And you start from the middle. Take it little by little. I went too fast because I'm used to it. Don't clean your brows immediately straight. Something I like to do that helps me very well. I just do the first half of the brows and then, you see, I take it like this. Then I, after doing that, I slowly come to concentrate at the second part and I descend just slowly take your time don't be in a hurry if your hand feels tired rest it then after doing it this way to give you this awkward sharp arrow like angle and you correct it just do it Soften it, you go back again till you like what you see. Need lots of concealer or foundation, whatever it is. Always cut the front and the back of your brush. Then we are going to see the way I dip my hand. 
still using this hand and into like this it has to be flat the long side pointing to my nose so. The middle. Hmm. Next, we are going to take this brush. It was an old mascara. I was done with it. I flung it away, washed this really properly, and bent it at this angle. So, what we are going to do is we are, we are going to raise your brush like this and brush it forward. Brush it forward. Just gently till it's faded. One thing concealer does, it brings out the mistakes for you, so go in and correct any mistake, you look at the both of them, always form the habit of sharpening your pencil, like, it must not be blunt. Go in, correct any mistakes, see this part of my own, it looks sparse. Correct any mistakes, you know. This one the tail is longer, this one the tail is shorter. So I'm just going to extend it. So that's what concealer does for you. It helps you correct to see the faults. You just take your time. If you it can't be completely perfect. Don't beat yourself up. Understand that. Blend the front and brush it upwards. Something brush it diagonally in group as you blend the front. You don't want the front to be dark and intense, it looks fake. We don't do dark and intense body shape without. Disturbing your eyebrow products. So, guys, I'm just going to be blending basically now. So, the eye eye concealer on the lower part of the brows, you're going to blend it downwards away from your eyebrows, and the concealer on the upper part of the brows, you're going to blend it away from your eyebrows. I don't know if this video is getting too long, but I wanted to record something really raw compared to what other YouTubers used to do that they've edited the video and it's, they've really removed the, the, the struggles and what it really takes to having a perfect bra. I wanted something really raw, but that you could get a glimpse of like it's not something perfect or magic wand like all videos portrayed it to be. I just wanted you to see everything, hence the longness of the video plus the lots of tips and everything I have to share with you guys. So at this point, it looks pretty blended. Always don't be afraid to use your hand to, to blend because your hand will warm it up and blend it better. For the down one, you blend downwards and for the up one, you blend or upward, away from the ground. I know you're smart. Now for the lovely parts, Fix you see it looks like your brow is continuous. I do this for beginners. This was how I started too. You are not going to you are going to take a powder brush and clean that bridge. This is game changing, okay? Nobody it will make your brows look 
will be really put together the arc and the arc they will be on the same plane it's not like one is going to Australia and the other one is going to Jamaica and you don't have to buy expensive products to achieve a really decent browse the simple tips and tricks here and there and if someone sees this bra out, they would not believe I use a different method to join them. So whichever method suits me, go for it. But the most important thing is to practice, 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 and never stop practicing. At this point, you go on with the rest of your makeup. Like, I just came like a true beginner to show you. I didn't use mirror for any of this. I used a cheap pencil. This pencil is like 200 naira. That's like less than a dollar. And you just have decent brows and you look beautiful and you know the shape of your brows. And one good tip I really like to say, I don't alter the shape of my brows. Do not alter the shape of your brows. Certain people just remove the shape of their brows and withdraw something else. God has given you what frame can shape your face best if you tamper with it. Okay, if you found it really helpful, please subscribe below. It's below. I'm going to be updating how to use eyeshadow as a beginner. And comment below. Do you notice any difference? 